Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be testing some very cheap, super duper affordable makeup and see how it applies, how it goes on, and if we can actually create a nice look with this stuff. I'm pretty excited, you guys. So a lot of you might be familiar with this brand. This brand is called Profusion, and you might be familiar with it if you watched my, I don't remember the exact title, but it was something like I purchased a ton of makeup from Marshalls. How did it do? You can find a lot of the old Profusion makeup at Marshalls very often, but they've recently undergone like a brand makeover, their products have been redone, their packaging has been redone, and they have a lot of stuff that kind of looks super promising. So this is the blush palette that I got. These were sent to me by the brand, by the way. They have a pro concealer and contour set right here with the contour powders and the cream concealers. They have this huge eyeshadow in cheek palette, and this, which I'm really excited for to try today, one of the things I'm going to be trying because there's a lot here. This I think is brand new. I could not even find it online. Now Profusion is sold at Target. And this is what they recently sent me. And I do believe it's brand new, but you actually have an eyeshadow palette here. It looks kind of promising, right? It almost looks a little Morphe-esque maybe. Um, it has brushes, it has lip products, a ton of stuff. And I was really excited by the packaging. I think the colors look really pretty. They even have a smoky eye shadow palette here. Looks like this, a little reminiscent of maybe a naked palette. And then they also have a highlighter palette. Oh, I can't get her open. And these are what the highlighters look like here. So we're going to be trying a bunch of this stuff out today. Let's go ahead and get started. Started. And before we get started, I do just want to point out, you might notice I have some dry patches on the side of my mouth. I recently had a very bad reaction after a lip swatching video. I don't believe from the lip products. It was from actually, I think a makeup remover. I can't reach it. It was a new makeup remover I was trying. It was kind of some random brand that's not really sold in stores or anything. I got it in like a gift bag and I'm pretty sure it was way too harsh, way too strong, or there was too much alcohol or something in it for my mouth and my lips. And they have since been severely chapped. That's why it looks so terrible. I've actually been coating my mouth in Neosporin. So it's getting better, but it's been a rough few days. So first impression, just by looking at it, this Mixed Metals Peach Palette, I like the packaging. It does feel like a cheaper plastic. It's not a super duper fancy plastic. It's a little, it's lightweight. This has nine matte and metallic shadows here. Again, in my opinion, they look very similar to like a Morphe palette. And the mirror is humongo, as you can see, which I really like. I love a nice size mirror. So first things first, I want to prep our lid with a nice light creamy shade. This is called Polite. And I'm going to dust Polite all over my lid. I've already prepped my lid with some concealer and some powder. And that's typically all I'll use for primer most days. I like how that kind of holds my shadows and kind of just creates a nice smooth base for my shadows to blend on top of. This is really random. It's The shadow smells like Play-Doh to me. I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if that would bother you, but when I open it, I can just like smell Play-Doh. It might just be me. I don't know. There's a smell there. There's definitely a certain smell that I'm not familiar with. From here, let's bounce into the shade Ecstatic. It's like a nice peachy. Sticking with my same E40 tapered blending brush from Sigma, I'm going to pop that into the crease. Start blending over. I'm just going to work that as our transition shade. Blending up to the brow bone. That is not terrible. That pigmentation is not bad at all. In the pan, it looks like it has a bit of glitter in it, like little silver glitters. But when you pop it on the eye, I'm not seeing that at all. I am getting some fallout on the cheek and here. So I do believe it's, it's definitely more of a powdery formula. You can see I'm getting some kickback on the palette. I'm really blowing that shade out all over just because I don't quite know where I'm going with this look yet, you know? So, so far, I think the shadows are definitely decent, but there is definitely fallout, kickback. But because the shadow is quite powdery, it's luckily very easy to kind of swipe away. I don't know if you want to take that as a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to take it as a good thing because I do like the coverage so far of the shadow. From here, I'm going to build up that crease a little bit more. We're going to jump into the shade Outgoing. Taking my E35 brush from Sigma for this. And we're going to work that into the crease and a little bit above the crease, tying into that ecstatic shade we previously laid down. It's going on very nicely. It's blending very nicely. So now I want to jump into the shade Outspoken, which is this nice warm shade here, kind of like a rusty color. And working that into the crease, a little bit down onto the lash line. And I am kind of kicking that shadow back, kind of pulling it back to the tail of my brow. And also on that inner corner, 
And even though there is a lot of fallout and a lot of kickback, I don't need to dip my brush into the shadow itself very much to get this amount of pigment. This right here is like one dip into the palette and I'm able to get this pigmentation, which I think is pretty great. So for this next step, I wanna use some concealer to prep for my lids. So I'm gonna take the Profusion Pro Conceal and Contour Palette. Let me move over so you can really see it. Again, I love the packaging. It's super like plushy, which is fun, right? Black, rose gold, super chic. This is like a true like beauty on a budget brand because everything looks so nice and luxurious still, but the prices are like amazing. I think this is only $10, again, $10, $15. And it comes with brushes, which is freaking awesome. So I'm gonna jump into the, the ivory concealer and I'm using my cut crease brush from Sigma for this, the E62, because it's just the best brush for cut creases. I'm so mad. I would have used this concealer palette all over my face, but I didn't find it for all day. I was looking for this palette because I knew I had it. I was sent it ages ago though, so I wasn't sure where it was. And then just now I was on the phone with my mom before filming this video. And like, you know, I love talking to my mom. Me and my mom's like phone call conversations on her way home from work are like my favorite part of the day. But they talk for so long, don't they? But that's okay. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I was just like going through boxes and shit while I was talking to her. And then of course I found it and I had already beaten my whole face. So that's how it goes. But I will say this concealer is stiff. It's creamy, but it's it's not, I guess it's not overly creamy. It, but it does kind of feel like maybe more dry, like a dry cream, if that makes sense. Kind of elevating my crease here, bringing it up higher than it actually goes. Pigmented though, covered up that shadow, didn't it? And then in my shadow palette, I'm first gonna go into this shade down here called Crimson. We love a crimson, don't we? And now I'm just going to place this on the lid, on the back half of the lid, like so. Going on the concealer very, very well. Very pigmented. Whoa, pigmented. Whoa, I was not expecting that to be so deep of a crimson. I'm pleasantly surprised and honestly, it feels like I maybe didn't even need that concealer. Huh. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush and pop into this shade here called Wannabe. And let's place Wannabe on the front half of the lid. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to marry those two shades together. I really like that color. That Wannabe shade is gorgeous, especially on the concealer. I would definitely use a shade like that on a concealer if you want it to be more pigmented. And then just kind of start marrying those into each other, blending back and forth. Ooh. For the outer V, I think I'm gonna add this brown here. It's kind of like an espresso shade and it's called Special. So let's take a bit of that and pop that on the outer half. And I'm also gonna start bringing that a little bit through the crease, just kind of where that gets really cut off, you know what I mean? Layer it right on top to smooth that out. Is it gonna work? Ugh, it's kind of grabbing the concealer and not the lid. Oh no, maybe if I actually take more of that crimson shade, Try to pop that in there. Just kind of trying to layer it in that gap. Dang it, that concealer kind of goofed everything up on that eye. I can't get that outer corner to be as bold as I would like it to be. I'm gonna take, I guess, some more concealer. Just try and fix that. I guess I'm gonna extend this outer part. This is really tricky right now, trying to fix this. Slice that little outer half, pop some of that crimson on top of there and see if we can't get that to even out a bit better. Dang, it was going so well. And I'm trying to do my best to blend out that concealer line, but it's like shadow is grabbing it so aggressively that I just can't get it to smooth out. Now I can't get that harsh line to go away. I wonder if I were to take like a really small detailed brush and go in with the espresso and maybe a bit of the warm shade here, ever so slightly go across that line and try to fade that out a bit just to get it to blend together. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just trying to insert that crimson shade over the top now to fade out that concealer line. It just won't cover. It's kind of giving me um ABH subculture flashbacks right now. What the fuck is going on right now? Hmm. Such a mess. I didn't want this to happen. There's another shadow palette. Maybe if they have a black. I could take the black. Okay, they do. They have a dark color here. Um, this is their Smoky Eye palette. I'm gonna take this super dark shade right here at the end and see if I can't marry that all together with that shade. So this shadow is called Vibes. I'm gonna try and just put Vibes on the outside there and not directly on the concealer. And just round out that edge a bit. Just making it even harsher now. It's just the shadow, I believe because it is so powdery, it is grabbing that concealer like nobody's business, you guys. It's, it's, 
Ugh, God, this is a fail video and I don't like fail videos. I don't ever want to consider a makeup video a fail. Like I just feel like no matter how the product is, you should be able to manipulate it into the way you need it to. But no, this is a darn fail. I don't know what to do. Okay. I'm gonna just stop on this eye before I cry. Okay, let's try it without the concealer. By the way, this palette is a mess. They are super powdery. I'm gonna go into the crimson shade and let's just try to pop that on the lid like I was doing. Of course, it's not gonna be as bold as the other eye. Okay, that went fine. It's not, you know, as deep as this crimson shade is over here, which I really like, so I'm kind of upset about that. I'm now going to wet my brush. Need a little spritzer here. I'm gonna wet that and then dip it into the wannabe shade that we had. I missed the shadow there completely. Um, in the first part of the eye on the other eye here, oh, that's weird. It's like chalky. It's like turning into chalk. And place that in the inner half. I just now can't get that crimson shade like deep and like opaque as it was over here with the concealer, which is what I loved about it. But the concealer is what gave us this, do you see this like extremely harsh edge there? Nothing in the world would blend that out. What if I just tried like a dry brush even. I don't know. This is weird. I know you shouldn't tug on your lid, but, but desperate times call for desperate measures, you know? I'm sad, you guys. I'm actually sad. I keep going back to wanting to fix this eye over here. What if I, okay, what if I just, so let's say I just barely dip my finger in the concealer. Can we get that crimson effect again, but not as strategic and sharp this time? I have so many brushes down here. This has been a mess. Okay, now let's go in with crimson again. You can tell I'm being like very, very light with it. But it's pigmented as hell, you guys. It's just that the tackiness of it kind of threw it off. I want this to work. I do not like when it doesn't work. I believe in you, Profusion, I do. Oh, it's just grabbing that concealer in such a way that I can't even it out when the concealer ends, you know? just. Place it in that crease, but it just doesn't want to grab that crease, man. Oh no, it's starting to trickle down onto the concealer part and get dark there. Okay, that eye was better. It is not perfect, but it is better, and I, I can't do anymore. I just can't do it anymore, but it's definitely better. So if you're going to be using a concealer base with these shadows, I strongly recommend you do it with a finger. Do it lightly. Try not to create a sharp edge because the shadows seem to just want to, because they are so powdery, they just want to grab any bit of moisture or tackiness and doesn't want to adhere above that tackiness. It's just, it's like a magnet for it. So my cheapest eyeliner that I have is my Jordana Cosmetics Liquid Liner. So we're going to try, we're just going to go ahead and place a wing on top of this. I don't hate this eye. I will say I don't hate that eye at all. I'm going to do a wing and I'm going to do my best to cover up the mess that is the end of the eyeshadow. So I'm going to do a pretty dramatic wing. So let's finish out the eyes now. I'm going to take that bloody crimson shade underneath the eye and I'm just gonna run that on my lower lash line and I'm gonna try and deepen up those edges with the espresso shade as well in the palette okay with liner on it's not so 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 bad I don't have any new drugstore mascaras to try do I no I don't so I'm just gonna throw on my Tardis mascara just because I'm gonna fast forward through this part because it has nothing to do with the video really and it's boring let's be honest I like the eyeshadow now it was a struggle and it's not my most favorite perfect blend ever, especially this eye. We eventually got it there, but it took a lot of effort. It took a lot of work. I think the colors are beautiful. I do. It's just going to be something you're going to want to really pay attention to when you're using it because one little slip up and it's probably going to go all wrong. It was really just the base. It was the concealer that kind of threw everything off. And that can be a little frustrating if you love your cut creases and you want to make, you know, your look super duper pigmented. So still working in the Pro Conceal and Contour palette. You can see it has the bronzers and highlighters. There's powders and creams. And then there's the concealers on the side. So I'm going to go into the powder here and I'm gonna jump into oh dang it I just got my finger into a ton of freaking concealer that's the really annoying part about having powders and creams like this like anytime you have fallout of your powders it's gonna get into your creams also when you're holding it you might just shove your finger into a cream so pay attention to that I'm gonna take this powder here it's called light highlight it's a matte kind of yellowy shade think of like Kat Von D or your Anastasia contour palettes it's one of those brightening shades and I'm gonna take it under the eye to help 
sweep away any fallout, but also just brighten this area up. I like to kind of really shove it on the side of my nose there to help in my contouring and then bring it out over here, really get that glow going. Again, it's kind of super duper powdery, a little on the chalky side. I'm hoping that when we lay our setting spray down, it's not that bad. Ooh. I don't know y'all. It's a little chalky y'all. And then let's do some bronzing. So we're gonna jump into, I'm trying not to touch the concealers. We're gonna jump into the medium contour shade right here. It's a nice color. I do like the color range of bronzers in here for sure. For sure. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? A lot of kickback in the palette though. A lot of kickback in the palette. And up into the forehead region. Favorite part of the day. Throwing that contour on my forehead. Bronze your forehead and pray. Jesus. That was really annoying for me. I'm sure it was annoying for you guys as well. It's like something in my eye. Let's now pop into the highlight palette itself. They have an entire highlight palette, which I will say the colors definitely don't grab me. They don't really seem to have much glow in them at all just by looking at them, but I'm hoping maybe it, you know, goes different on the skin. Oh, that's not so bad. That's pretty decent. I will take that back. This is a decent highlighter. Definitely does pack a glow. And just think about when you, you know, pop your setting spray on it. Boom, y'all. And there's a good color variation in here. Great color selection. Even a bit of like a purpley shade. So this so far is like surprisingly much better than I thought it would be. Yeah, I like that glow. I definitely do. And I like a little on the chin because I'm dramatic. And they have this blush palette that actually looks very promising. This is the one thing I was super duper excited to try. It's the Pro Fusion 6 Color Blush Palette. They are all powdered blushes in case you were curious. For this look, I actually think I want to try the hot pink. Mmm. Oh, I do like that. I do. That's a pretty color. I love the blush. Of course, this is only one shade. I've not tried every shade, but I mean, blush is blush. I like that a lot. Let's set the face. And then for lips, I'm going to use the two things from Pro Fusion that came in the peach set. This lip liner, it's a matte lip liner in the shade Matte Peach. Ow, it's sharp, it's very pointy. I do like the lip liner, though it was very, very sharp of a pencil. The color is really pretty, it's a really pretty peach. And then they sent this Metal Matte Lip Cream in the shade Metal Peach. Hmm. Hmm. That just, it doesn't look good at all. And I will say that my lips are seriously so dry right now from my bad reaction I had a few days ago. So. I don't know if it's just my own lip texture throwing me off, but I don't like that. But I'm also really not a fan of metallic lips. I'm just not. It just kind of looks like a cheap lip color, doesn't it? Like something you would buy from like, what was that old lip brand? Like Bonnie Bell or something. Okay, so all in all, I hated the lip color. I will just say that right off the bat. The shadow palette, we definitely got it to a place that I think it is very pretty at. However, it definitely took a lot of working to get there. I like it and I don't like it. That's kind of how I feel. I love the blush palette. Though we only tried one color, it's very very pretty. It looks almost like a MAC blush to me or a NARS blush. It looks very gorgeous. The highlight palette also really pleasantly surprised me. I think it gave a beautiful, very wearable glow. It's not too much. It's very natural. So I think it's fun if you have a daughter or a son or whoever who's starting to get into makeup, a sister or a brother, and they want a highlighter palette or they're trying to kind of set up their kit to kind of play with. I think it's a great place to start out. Or if you're looking for more affordable options, it definitely does work. And I do like the glow. So this I actually do give a thumbs up to. The shadow palettes, I just don't know how to feel, you guys. I didn't try enough of this one to really give it a full review. And this one was doing really great, really great, really great until we got to that concealer fiasco. And it took a lot to get us out of it. So I really don't know how to feel. I like it, but I definitely will not reach for it every day because I'm terrified that that will happen again. And what if I'm doing my makeup before a dinner or I go to an event and I'm using this and that happens to me. Like I won't have such a long amount of time to try and blend it out and figure it out and fix it. I'm going to not recommend this shadow palette because I could just see us having too much difficulty with it. Again, I think it's a great play makeup. It's great to start out with. Um, they are cruelty free, which is really nice, but all in all, I probably would rather invest in a nicer shadow palette or at least go to like a NYX or an e.l.f. I really like their products and I've never really had this problem with those products. So though it is more affordable, I do think they could be a bit better. I do. It's just, I don't know. They were so powdery and I think that's the problem. They are super duper powdery. You're going to get a ton of fallout. It's going to be pretty messy. And like you saw with the concealer, it just wants to grab the tackiness, but not necessarily adhere to the dry parts of your face, 
what is this hair in the middle of my forehead? I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, you guys, before I fail at anything else. Thank you guys for watching today. Let me know what makeup you've recently tried that has been a fail for you. I love you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!